everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do March readings for all zodiac signs. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so take what applies. If it applies, kick to the curve the rest. Thank you for everybody who has like, subscribed, and shared to my channel. Love you guys. You rock. If anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info is going to be in the box below. A uh, special announcement. Um, my friend Epps Marsh is um, putting out his poetry book. It will be available on Amazon March 1st. And in there, he has selected a poem for each zodiac sign. Cancer, yours is going to be the Rainbow Tour. Interesting. So if you get a chance, check that out. March 1st, Amazon. Cancer, let's see what's shaken for you in March. Okay, Cancer. Overcoming the past, I think. So let's get right into it. Bottom of the deck. Mm, Gemini had this too. I shuffled like a mad person. You have the Nine of Cups. The wish being fulfilled or granted. And the Yes card. Nines being close to a ten of emotional fulfillment. So Cancer. Let's see what's shaking. We're going to start off with the Nine of Swords. Cancer, this is agony. Okay? Sleepless nights. Thinking about something over and over again. It just keeps getting worse and worse. And what's crossing you to help or hinder? You have the Hermit, also known as a Virgo card. But this is about isolation seclusion. It's about introspection, Cancer. The lantern is his intuition that he lets guide him. He's a seeker of knowledge, too, so you know, he doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He gets it on his own. That way he knows it's to be true. So, Cancer, what's got you worried in your head? You need to take that break. Maybe a break from people. A break from life. You know, and figure out what is worrying you and how you can correct it. The solution. Because if you internalize and do the work yourself, I think that you will find the answer to what you're looking for. In your foundation, you have the world card. And this is about cycles ending and new cycles beginning. New cycles that have opportunities, new doors to open. And that being in your foundation, Cancer, you know, maybe it's these old patterns, these old, you know, an old way of thinking or doing things. You need to close the door on it because there's so much more waiting for you, Cancer. Because in, well, your crowning position, you have a great card. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this could be karma, but when it's in the upright, it's good karma. Things start falling into place because they're supposed to be. It's almost orchestrated that way. You might think you're on a lucky streak. You know, things just ha start happening to go your way. In Cancer, that crowning your whole reading is awesome. Here comes those new opportunities. You need to turn the handle. And open the door. Because in your recent past, Cancer, you got the past. <laughs> you have the Six of Cups. This is nostalgia. Fondly thinking about the past. Maybe when you were a kid. Or if you have kids when they were small. But they're fond memories. Cancer, they're great memories. And no one says that you have to get rid of them. Okay, but perhaps the universe is asking you not to do the same things. Break a cycle, because it's all about cycles too. 
and venture out from doing something maybe that you've been doing for a long time. When you think about it, Cancer, I think it will make sense to you. Worrying is wasted energy. Take this thought process and think about truly, Cancer, what you want. What do you want to achieve for yourself? It could be that maybe you had something in the past that maybe you let go of, put in the closet, and needs to come back out. Something you love to do. Maybe now is the opportunity. Then it wasn't. Now it is. Because going into your future, Cancer, you have a great card. You have the star card. And this is about a healing energy. This is the universe and your guides letting you know they hear you. They're with you. This is about the universe wanting to grant you a wish. Sometimes this is a blessing in disguise. Also known as the Aquarius card. But this is something, you know, being divinely orchestrated behind the scenes, the things that we don't see. But make no mistake. The universe hears you. You have a wish card here. Cancer, you have the wish card here. Very positive, Cancer, and that's great. Because how people see you in your environment. Ooh, they see you as busy. <laughs> Cancer, this is the Eight of Pentacles. And this is putting your nose to the grindstone. And perfecting. A skill, a quality, a craft. Maybe going back to school. Maybe going to a trade school. Maybe you're learning something new. Kids, and maybe you're working on yourself to make yourself a better person. But people see you as very diligent and very involved in something. You could have nosed out right into work. Or maybe you are learning something because you want to take something in a new direction. Because in your environment, Cancer, you have the Seven of Pentacles. And this is the investment card. You put your time, your energy, your love into something. When it comes to bloom, you get to ask yourself, Cancer, was this worth doing? Did I get out of it what I put into it? And would you do it again? This being in your environment... Cancer, it's definitely investing into something, investing into you, perhaps. If it's not a job, if it's not a career, if it's not a friendship. Maybe now's the time to make things happen for yourself. Because in your hopes and in your fears, Cancer, you've got strength, also known as the Leo card. This is about inner strength, Cancer. It's about persevering. It's about courageousness, bravery, going into unknown and welcoming it. Inner strength. You can be the strongest person in a room, Cancer, without making a sound. Because you emanate that. You emanate, you know, confidence. And people will choose their words wisely around you. Nobody fears this. Cancer, this is definitely a hope to be strong enough, to be brave enough, to be courageous enough, to follow through on what you want to invest in. Whether that is in love, if that is in business, if it is in a career, like I say, any ship. And Cancer, don't doubt yourself for one minute. Not one minute. Because when you have the Wheel of Fortune and you've got the star on your side, the universe is on your side. Stay diligent. Work hard. Because your outcome card is a Six of Wands. This is victory. This is success. Overcoming a battle and being victorious. Coming back from a battle and being victorious. So Cancer, keep doing what you're doing. Work hard. Things will turn around for you. And before you know it, you will have that victory. So that is what I have for you. 
please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Epps March on March 1st on Amazon, the poetry book. And your poet, your poem, I should say, is the Rainbow Tour. So I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.